Hi there, I'm Tom and today I'm going to uh, show you how to make a fast and easy GUI in Python using the custom Kintar library. Now to get this one it is not pre-installed into Python so open up a terminal by clicking down here into problems and then terminal and write pip install custom Kintar. Now, if I try to run this, it says requirement already satisfied because I already have that, but in your case it will install the library. So, now, uh, we don't actually import it like this, but we say uh, from custom Kinter import everything, the star symbolizes everything. Now, to create a new window, we will say main, for example, equals to ctk, which stands for custom Kinter and this now will create a window remember that uh, any time that you run a GUI in Python with this library you need to have the main loop function at the bottom this tells the code where all of your like window assets are so that it can keep them updated so if I run this I bring the window over to the screen so that you can see it you see we have this cute little window now to modify it, get it a little bit more visible, I say that its geometry should be uh, 600 by 600. Uh, its title should be um, a test, and here you can even specify an icon bitmap. Uh, and in here, if you specify a path to a icon.ico file, it needs to be an ICO file, uh, it will change the icon on top of your um, window but I don't have one so I will write it here as a comment if you need it, modify the icon. You can see that if I run this now, I bring the window over here, you can see that it says test here, it is small so you probably can't see it and you, we have a big window. So, now let's start adding stuff to this window. For example, let's say that we want to add uh, a label which says something. Uh, to do that, we will say that a, for example, a header, sorry, uh, a header might be a CTK label. And then we can say that the text equals to hello world. Uh, we, sorry, we have to specify the window where we want this label, of course, so in this case it's main, then the text, and then you can see here all of the parameters that we can give them. For example, I can say uh, font equals uh, parentheses, and then I will say Arial uh, 15, and then I want it also bold and italic. So you can see that we've done that here. And then I can also say it's uh, foreground color to uh, green. Now, you, you would notice that if I run this code now and bring over the window, nothing is here. Why? Uh, because we didn't tell the GUI manager where to put this header that we created. To do that, we will say header dot and here uh, we can do two things we can say dot pack and what pack will do is it will uh, append the widget to the window in the uh, most upper available position um, sorry let me actually uh, move this uh, change it to text color equals blue this would be a little bit no uh, sorry let me do white so it is easier for you guys to see now, now to this pack we can pass arguments such as uh, pad y equals 30. Now pad y uh, will sort of like distance how far down it is from other widgets. Let me get this text bigger for you guys so that you can see it easily. You can see. So now if I put a pad y of for example 50 you can see that it is lower so now uh, the other way that you can do this of course it also work with pad x of it is the same thing now you can also do a specify a grid 
and we will say for example the row is 0 and the column is 0 so you can either group widgets in grids or in a pack format but you can't do um, you can't use them both at the same time in a window uh, that is simply not allowed so now if we try to do this again but we use pack you can see that now it gives an error cannot use geometry manager pack inside the window which is already managed by grid uh, also remember that uh, the variable that you assign to the label can be overwritten like if you have a lot of text you can just overwrite the same variable it will not affect the function of your window but if you do that you won't be able to change uh, any of the attributes so for example let's say um, that now I want to have a button so let's say uh, my button equals a ctk button uh, which is in main its text is uh, uh, click me and nothing more and then I will say my button dot grid um, row 0 and column 1 so it is right next to the text now we'll give it pad x of 50 just to make the two columns a bit apart and a pad y of 50 as well now if I run this and I bring you over the window you can see the little button right here click me it does basically nothing it's kind of useless so uh, what I will do now is I will change this horrible thing and I will pack this and pack the other thing again and I will give this just a basic pad value of 50 and now to the button we can specify of course a width and a height but I'm not going to do that what I'm going to do is I'm going to say command equals change text okay and I'm going to define up here the function change text uh, which does not return anything so none it does not require any arguments and I will say header dot configure remember that the config option is present but it um, like you have to understand that this library depends on the Tkinter library and this is a custom version that is more modern looking so config is there but you should always use configure and then I will say that the text is now um, button has no sorry button clicked because uh, the font size is too large of course uh, with this line of code you can modify any uh, of the parameters that you want to pass to the to the specific variable but you need to watch out because if you at any point overwrote this variable it will not work so now let's see here we have the window and if I click the button you see the text changes to button clicked now if uh, you want a full list of widgets which are the different things that you can place in a window I will put a link down in the description for the github repository with all the documentation just because today I haven't got the material time to cover them all now let's say that now uh, we want to have another two buttons but this time I, I want them to be on the same row as each other so uh, sorry, this needs to be a one. Now let's say click me, click me one, and click me two, just so we can tell them apart. Now, normally, if I do this and run it, you can see that there are three buttons. But if I want like one here and then two, one right here and one right here, how do we do that? Well, I show you. To do that, we would use the grid manager. So I'd say grid row zero and column 0 but then I will say column span is equals to 2 so what this means is it takes uh, two columns for that to show and like it takes two columns for that widget and now I will 
write it for these two, changing the row, so they of course appear over, and of course passing to every single one of them a pad Y just to tell them apart. Now of course you can play around with this, of course here I have to use grid 2, uh, row 2, and here it's a column 1, and still our pad Y of 50. And here I will remove the column span 2. Now what will happen here is, I'm going to pull this down so that you can see the code. Now uh, ignore the fact that it's, it's moving it to the right, but as you can see now, you have everything centered and the two buttons are on the same row, but you can see that they are on the same row, but they are not like causing any um, weird behavior up here so uh, now let me just see a thing because I don't get why it's for some reason it's um, moving it to the left in theory it shouldn't do that but whatever like you can see that the base script works uh, also you can use frames to do that so a frame is basically a container where you put widgets for example my underscore frame is equals to a ctk frame and now I will say the in main and my frame dot pack now what I will do now is the last thing I am going to show you in this video is if I now put this line of code here and these two buttons I put them into the frame uh, I reset the rows now what I am going to do is here I remove the grid statements and replace them again with pack statements uh, what do I have copied here? Sorry, my bad. And I will add a pad Y of 50 to these. Now you can see that we are using pack and grid, so this should not work. But indeed, it does work. Now, what's the difference? What changed? Um, so basically, what changed is the fact that... Um, sorry, actually, I don't have to put pad Y here because it will... Uh, ruin the aesthetic of the window a bit okay now you can see we have the same result it's centered but the grid now works together with the pack statement because these two buttons are not on the window but they are in a frame which is inside the window you get that so you can see button click and it changes but now the frame is like a container is packed here and inside that container we have two buttons let me just separate them uh, a little bit so we give a pad x of 20 and run this again and it works now the only thing that is I, I don't want to say bad but the only downside with this method is as if you can see that the frame leaves a little bit of an, of an area here uh, it marks itself and you can like pass into the frame transparent like there are um, methods to tell it that you want it transparent but for some reason uh, it doesn't work for me so I I don't know what to do with that but this is the basic Python for the basic GUI for Python lessons if you would like more in-depth uh, explanations of how it works please leave a comment and I will post a complete code example I will work on a project with some videos for you in some of the next lessons thank you for watching and see you next time